On Friday, USDA announced $165 million in emergency funding to prevent the spread of New World screwworm into the United States following a confirmed case in southern Mexico a few weeks ago. $165 million in emergency commodity credit corporation funding to be able to protect U.S. livestock from New World screwworm. Eradication relies on the sterile insect technique where sterile male flies are released to disrupt breeding. This method has proven effective in the past with U.S. outbreaks. The funding is to expand the number of flies. We're currently producing about 90 million flies a week. And so to really increase the production of flies, increase the dispersal and the range of dispersal of flies. The United States eradicated the screw worm in the middle part of the 20th century. And then over the course of several decades, in a very collaborative approach with Mexico and with many countries in Central America, actively worked to push down that pest out of the United States and then out of Mexico and then through Central America and down to the Darien Peninsula in Panama. Since then, for the past several decades, we have really held the line in Panama at the Darien Peninsula, making sure that that pest stays there and doesn't move and advance through Central America and then up into North America as well. Unfortunately, a couple of years ago, due to a variety of different factors, that has started to spread through the broader country of Panama and then last year also into Costa Rica. So we have been for the past year and a half really ramping up our work. While no reports of New World screwworm have surfaced in the U.S., producers are still urged to monitor livestock for symptoms such as fly larvae and wounds and report issues promptly.